You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video to learn more about the Treasure X Dragon's Gold. I want to say thanks to Moose Toys for sending this to me to check out on video. It would be considered a special influencer package so that I can learn more and share that experience with you. I did notice the little moose in the right corner is not their standard like tealish bluish green but gold and they have a YouTube channel which is Treasure X World. All right so the box itself as you can see is specially designed. Now I will take a look at all of the sides. It kind of looks like scales here, doesn't it? Little flame up here, you see the gold and the chain, like this is a treasure chest. And then you have the little rivets running down the side. It says, will you find real gold dipped treasure? I don't know, we will see. And then this side basically runs through all the steps that I will need to do. And then it repeats on both panels. Let's just see, I don't think there's anything down there. Nope, there's the traditional moose logo. All right, so let me get the camera in here and then I will show you everything in the box. Of course, I'm going to open these all up and share that with you today. Here we go, Treasure X Dragon's Gold and whoosh. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty neat the way they have that all packaged up for me. Let's take some things out. We'll set them off to the side here. Here is the Treasure X Dragons and real go with real gold dip treasure. And then there's this giant, and I mean giant box. Uh, guaranteed real gold dip treasure inside. All right, let me bring the camera back down so you get a good shot from the side. I will turn these this way, one this way. So while I'm reading this little scroll, Okay, so here we go. There, see, now you can look at all that. It says, Greetings, the hunt for dragon's gold continues. Hunt through the mini beasts to reveal the all-new Treasure X Dragon's Gold treasure chest with guaranteed real gold dip treasure. Let's turn this around. Pretty neat the way they have this all done here with chains. All right. Here's what's in the chest. 28 levels of adventure. Guaranteed gold dip treasure. One mini beast, one hunter, and one dragon. We hope you enjoy experiencing all 28 levels of adventure and let us and your subscribers know about your hunt for real gold dip treasure from your friends at Moose Toys. All right, now we have seen everything. Let me come back here, unpack it all, and we will continue on with our quest to find real gold in our Treasure X Dragons. All right, let's open up these smaller ones here. I wanted to kind of show you the side so you can see what it looks like. I got this one started just a little. Okay, and then, okay, so the top just opens. Is there no tape? Oh, maybe there's a piece right here. No, I don't think there is. That's nice. I get to save my boxes. Okay. And then here's the plastic insert. It looks like there's a plastic insert protecting your treasure. Important, for easier digging, unwrap and place block under running water for 30 seconds. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I think I'm just going to put them in a tray and let them soak. Now I've done these multiple ways. So I actually have the last two videos. I think I went to the sink and actually videoed by the sink. So you can see me doing that already in a video today. A little bit different. You know, sometimes you just got to mix it up. So I thought, why not just fill a tray? I recently did some similar ones. Okay, we'll check that little brochure out in just a second. Okay, there is two and numero three. I still have all my original Treasure X's in the boxes that Moose sent me in my collection. So I keep all of these specialty big boxes and stuff. Can you believe that? I'm sure you do. If you watch my channel, you'll know I really take great care in turning everything back to its original condition. But these, you know, once these are chipped out, they are done. You cannot remake your blocks. All right, so let's get these out. Now they are pretty tightly vacuum sealed with this gold wrapper. Let's 
Ooh, this one had a little, what looks to be some type of key on the top. Let's see if they're all the same. It's all the same key, we don't know. That's part of experiencing your treasure access. The mystery. Ooh, two keys. Got a little X in them. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, so it's the same key in all of them. This will tell us. Ooh, we have our little treasure map. Okay. On the trek for the dragon's tongue. Okay, so each of these are the different zones. It looks like uh, you're matching as you dig. Let's see. Instructions to your quest for treasure. Find the map to begin your quest for treasure. Dig through the gold layer and discover the rock and a mini digging tool. Okay, I got the mini digging tool and the rock. For easier digging, place underwater. Okay, I think I'm just going to fill a tray with water. Discover the bones of a mini beast. Remove wrap from body. Wash all the parts in water and build your mini beast. Find your treasure in the rock. Did you find gold? Display your mini beast. Now, it looks like there's all these different th commons. Oh, okay. So you have commons going around the exterior here. See that? Stink bomb, magic mirror, mini goblin, frozen fish, skull gear, skull wrench, nuclear can, snake charmer's flute, mammoth meat. What else do we have here? Hero's horn, fossilized fish, bracelet of strength. Secret potion, glow in the dark, toxic poop, fallout gauge, uh, snakeskin boot, snake scales, glow in the dark, crystal ball, ice crystal, bionic eye, power cell, mysterious egg, fang of fortune, and Viking ship. Here is the collector's guy. Well, those pretty much seem all to be common, right? And then down here in the, oh, here's the ultra rare gold dip treasures. You have dragon's tongue, dragon tooth, dragon's tail, dragon flame, dragon soul, dragon horn, uh, chalice of dragons, and dragon's book. And then it looks like in all of the figures, you do have an ultra rare golden figure, bling sting, and they all have names. Okay, so you can read those if you want. Sometimes I scan that and put that up for you. And here's our map. So now I need to get these wet. I'm not going to do a faucet today. I've done that before. But I'll bring in my tray with water and we'll see what's in these three treasure X. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let these soak. And it'll uh, hopefully, well, we'll see. I don't expect it to do much, but we'll get the water in there. Okay, so while that is softening up, let's check out our bigger box here. I was gonna, well, I got the tape off, so it says Golden Dragon Treasure Set. Guaranteed real gold, dip treasure, 28 levels of adventure. And then the back, well, this is for ages five plus, by the way. The back shows you all the steps here. And then there are three blocks in this one, which is really cool. See, three treasure blocks inside. Let's see what it says. Buried inside a dragon's lair is a golden treasure waiting to be found. But also within lies other great discoveries. Break open and discover treasure hunters and mini beasts who became trapped on their quest for gold. But beware the golden dragon that guards the treasure from those who are not worthy. Which golden dragon will you find? Journey through 28 levels of adventure and find real gold dip treasure and the legends that surround it. Ooh, here we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, there's a little tool up here. Okay, I'm familiar with this tool. It's similar to ones we have seen with these in the past. Okay, so there is the tool. It's got multiple digging apparatus. You got a little scraper here, a little pointy one here, a little claw here, and then a little screwdriver bit. And then there's this little, 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 little thing in here. Let's see what this is. Okay, come on out. Come on. I feel like it's, oh, there it is. It's got that little band around it. Okay, 
And then here's another little treasure map I got. Ooh, this one's hidden. There are hidden secrets in here. Somewhere is an X, and I can see it, so I know exactly where it is. And then here are the steps. Okay, same of kind of what we saw already. A little bit different here, because you need to get this. It says, rip through the gold layer and discover the rock. Okay. And then it looks like you use that to read. Let's just see here. Let's get these out. Maybe I should just put these in the water with the rest. Ooh. I'm here. There's something in there. You could just tell. This is what we have now. And then there's this giant one. Look at that. All right. So this is what we have. So let's just see if we could discover something in here. And what we discover. And I guess it's the same red one. Okay. You join your friends over there. And then this one here. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Different shape and everything. Okay. Watch we discover. Ooh, the jewel. Look at that. So this is what we're gonna use to read. Okay, might as well just put that one in there, right? Get them all going. And here is the big one. Ooh, another jewel. How cool is that? Okay, and let's drop this one in. Let's move these around a little bit, make some room for our friends. Okay, for, ooh, they're starting to come apart already. And then put the big one in the middle. Okay, pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna move some things around, wipe this off real quick, and we'll come back and we'll check out the map. All right, here we go. I have kind of tried to flatten this out a little bit here. Maybe it needs a little more. All right, so let's see. It says, rip through the gold layer and discover the rock. Hold the dragon's eye up to your eye and look through it at the map below. Look through the dragon's eye to find the X and reveal the treasure you may find. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to look through it now. You're not going to be able to see it just yet, but ooh, I could see it. Hey, that's pretty cool. I know where the X is. Let's see if you can see. It kind of reveals everything on the map through the drippy, flamey kind of stuff. Here, let's see if this will work. See my map now? Do you see where the X is? Mmm. That's pretty cool. Of course, not as good as when you're looking through your own eye as this camera. They tend to want to focus on certain things that you don't necessarily want them to focus on. But there you go. There is the X. So we are in this area here which is the pursuit for the dragon's potion all right let's take a look at these blocks now they have since changed color on part of them because the water has now traveled up the side let's get these out of here we don't need these in here anymore i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to turn them all over just let them soak in that in now Put that there. Mm -hmm. This is the second set. We'll put that there. Okay. Now let's just see if I can chip away. Wait, listen. Something is hissing. Whew. Something alive in my block. Is it this one? Hmm. Okay. I don't know what's happening. The air is escaping. Okay. It's not that hard to do. It just breaks right apart. I've already see pieces. It looks like you have two sides of the tool. They both let you dig in there. piece that came off oh there we go remember he's wrapped in plastic they said uh oh I don't want to lose pieces this round so there is plastic on this piece oh here we go oh that's a common no gold there you go we'll review as to what I have here 
There's gonna be more pieces. This just came off. Where'd it go? There it is. A foot with a golden talon. <laughs> An arm of sorts or a leg. An arm. You know, I'm not liking this camera angle. You can't see. I need to get my hands clean. Okay, I think I got it all. Okay, so it breaks up pretty good in your hands. Well, two hands. There we are. More. More pieces to my little man or creature. All right, let me do that. I'm going to clean up just a little before I do the rest. Bring the camera down at a better angle. Get a little wash bowl. And we are set to go. Mmm, tasty tool. Got all that in there. All right, let me do that. I'll come back and we'll work on the other block. All right, here we go. The quest is on. Now that first thing I found was the mammoth meat. So that's my first one. And then the figure I found was this long snouted character down here under the Bling Barbarians X-Rex. And I got a little toothbrush here because it's just easier to clean all that out. And I'll just put the pieces up here. I'll, what I'll do is I'll collect them and then go through them, put them together once I get them all out. All right, and this one has the plastic on it. It looks as though, well, it's always a challenge to get that shrunk wrap plastic off of these. Okay, so there was stuff in it. I think got a little tail on them. Look at that. Okay. Let's grab another. Okay, yeah, these went together. Let's just see now if I can crush this with my hands now that it's been soaking. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hmm. Have I found gold? No. Oh, I found some kind of blue gem. It's a crystal. Okay, there's all these pieces now. The four limbs. We'll put him on stand number two. See how it fills in his mouth. Looks like he's got an overbite here of stuff. Ooh, look at that one, pretty cool. His other two limbs in my jewel. Here, let's move the jewel. Or crystal, sorry. Oh, man. My crystal shot. And then this. Is the next one so we have it looks to be like a an animal head like this one X Fox I believe no he's got blue legs hmm this one has purple but I don't know if it's maybe just the picture itself and then the stone here is the ice crystal so no gold yet let's do the next one I think I like just breaking it up like that Okay, so we have a green item. I know you can't see those up there, but next camera change, I'll make an adjustment. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, lost arm. Okay, so you go on the next platform. Look 
little yellow one. Hmm. It's like a natural foot with the red body. I think that's gold rat. Oop. Oh man. <laughs> Gonna have to find that. And there's his head. Oh, there it is. That looks pretty clean, so I'm gonna put that up there on level two. Okay, so we found the four pieces. All right. Get his toenails cleaned out. Here's his head. Almost looks like a bug. Gold red, I said? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to verify all these. Let's get the plastic off his body. Okay, I'll give those all a clean rinse. So and now you can see what I have up there all the way up there. See that? Okay, let's do the fourth one. I think after this one I'll take it. Ooh, look at his head just sticking out. Plop it in there. Plop, plop. Any gold? No gold yet. No. Another green item. This looks like glow in the dark. Okay. All right, before I open those two, I'll do a quick rinse and clean, come back, and then we'll keep on going here. Oh, I'll tell you what, let me get these on my little platform. More dirty fingernails and toenails here. Need some fresh water. That goes up there. Wait, one, two, three. There should be one. Oh, there it is. One more limb. And then this guy, all green. He looks like Bling Rat. Clean up time. All right, new tool now. Remember, these steps are in the little booklet. I have actually rinsed them all one more time, have them drying on a little piece of paper towel. Now they show the big blocks going first and then doing the small block and then looking at the second map. So I'm kind of reversed it a little. So now I wanted to save the best for last, all right? So let's just see what this tool does. Ooh, there's something there. I hit it right away. Look at the size of that. Wait, let's get that brush. Looks like some type of shield or coin. Can't get it. Let's let's dig deeper down. Ooh, that's ooh, this is gonna have the slime in it, I think. Right? Okay. A nice weapon. Is there something in this? No. Okay. Okay, it looks like a big body piece. Okay, there's a leg. pieces in here. It will take forever to dry them. Okay, two more. The body. Oh, there's the other leg. Okay, so I think we're missing two pieces. Oh, there it is. What do we have? Let's 
fix your eye there, buddy. Probably twice the size as the other figures. Okay, so what I did on those other ones, as I went through, I brought in another thing of water to give them a final soaking. So the process itself does take time if you want them as clean as possible. So some fresh water, now that they've had the majority cleaned off. So one more final rinse. Oh, here's the piece that's in plastic. The reason they put these in plastic probably is because of the holes that are inside. Otherwise I'll get filled with the uh, with the uh, sand material and then it'll be harder to clean them out. Now I've re-rinsed them all. Like I said, these are the hardest things to get out. Especially when you got wet fingers. Okay. So I just took a little piece of paper towel on my little display here. And I sit it down to let these dry. Okay, let's get this out of the plastic. This is the oozy slime, it said. So I'll get that set in the back. Okay, that goes with the special items. One more to dig out here. A big one. Oh, that's a wing. The golden wing. Oh, look at that. This one's much harder to break apart. So I'll just pick away at the block. Look at that, that's cool. Check that out. It's a couple pieces in plastic. That's pretty neat the way that is, huh? Let me zoom in there for you. Dirty hands on camera. Ooh, big chunk fell out. Okay. This one should just come out too. Plastic. Another wing. I'll just leave that. I don't think there's anything in that big chunk. There's a lot of pieces. A tail. A leg. Ooh, it's mouth. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Hey, you're stuck in there, huh? I actually think the... This is actually the best thing. Now, the way this is, it does... You feel it on your fingers, so you have to be a little careful there. It's not a flat, smooth surface, so you're gripping on to where the point is. You know what I mean? I'm sure you know what I mean. I'm gonna let this one soak a little bit. I'm gonna let all these soak in the fresher water. Okay, I think I got it all. Okay, so we still have some more hidden things to open. 
Let's see if I got all the pieces for this big guy. Okay, this looks like the backbone. There's a... Okay, so we have a tail, leg, leg, head, two wings. Okay, so that looks like we have it all now. This will be a good time for me to clean up, actually. <laughs> if you're going to do these... Please make sure you have a nice area that you can do these in because they do get messy. Last one. Okay, these are still in the plastic. I just give it a quick rinse anyway. See, it's in the bottom of his jaw. Give him his a two little toothbrush there. This is what happens. See that hole there? That is full. Oops, sorry. Of stuff. chunk came up. Okay. One more thing in plastic, so I kind of wrap all this up here. So this is the one we were looking for. Let's see. Okay, so that'll go up in the treasure area there. All right, so I think I've got it all set now, all ready to go. So I'm going to completely clean up, come back, put it all together, and then see what's in our two special all right, let's see what's inside these. Everything's cleaned up. I had to wash everything, my hands, all the stuff. Clean the table. T Ooh, let's see what's in there. Ooh, look at that. It is slime. Ooh, it's like a purplish slime. Okay. Hmm, what's in there? Oh, and it's wrapped up. It almost looks like uh, like a brain or like a little character with a brain. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's this one here. It looks like mini goblin. So I got the mini goblin. Boy, no gold. Kind of sad about that. Let's see what's in the dragon's heart. Oh, don't go in there. I want to keep my slime intact. Okay, so I was trying to pinpoint everything on the little instructions. What do I have? I have not completed that yet. Sometimes I just add that to the description. It's slimy. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it looks like a little, little guy. Okay. You can sit in your slime. And this one now? Is this my gold? Oh, it's, it's jam-packed in there. Come on. Come on out. It's in some kind of vessel. Here, maybe I can get out with this one. It's entrenched in this little slime. Never thought I'd need more tools. Let me just tap it this way. There we go. There it is. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Get back there, slime. There you go. Is that wrapped in plastic too? 
Boy, they get you with all this plastic. Oh, my tools are being washed. I got slimy fingers. Oh, let me grab another one over here. Backup tool. It's got just a plastic strip around it. And it's in plastic again. There it is. So we got, I don't know what we have. I can't tell from inside the, oh man, that plastic just wants to shoot right by the slime. Okay, whew, challenging. There we go, I've seen that. Which way does it go? That is the, well, we got the ultra rare gold dip treasure, but I'm looking at the wrong one. That is the dragon's potion. So that is the right way that that stands. And then, so I have commons. I did get the nuclear can. I got this little guy, the mini goblin. And then on the commons here, I also got this key ice crystal. It looks like I've got this one here, the nuclear can. And then we know I got the mammoth meat. Okay, so that's everything. Now, I need to put this all together. What I think I'll do is I will just speed this up, take off any sound, and put in just some repetitive, fast, or some kind of music because I've had troubles with these, some of these putting these together in the past. And just push it into little pieces on video. I want to move quickly and I don't push them in enough and things start coming apart. There we go. See, legs fell off already. You got to really work them. So that's it for me for now. I will come back when these are all put together. <laughs> dragon for you know all of them did take a little time to put together and to squeeze in the arms the little sword for my main character what was his name oh he's down here that was treasure ox or orc sorry treasure orc and then this is going to be the myth mauler dragon and then the far right one is a bling bat and then the first three i was able to get my favorite one i think is arachno gold and then X-Rex and the X-Fox up there. And then you see all the different treasures now. Now remember now, I was kind of playing with you. Uh, the X mark did mark the spot for our Dragon's Potion. And you know all the other ones I did get. So let's get this together and then I'll do a final display for you. Now I noticed these are pretty much the same. They didn't make a specific right and left. They almost go in the exact same direction no matter which way could go this way it looks cool that way right and then it could go out so i'll just put them out they're very close in design and then the tail that's these these are ones i know for sure and then the last thing would be okay i think yeah long ones in the front and the short ones in the back 
my golden dragon. So they can be a challenge to put these in sometimes if they're not turned just the right way. Ooh, his head just popped off. Okay. And his leg just popped off. I guess you gotta push him in even more. That's why I did those other ones off camera. It does take a little bit to get it all the way you want it. Maybe I should have put the legs on first. Probably. Okay, there we go. Look at that. So these three are a team. Okay, there you go. Let me give you a closer look here. Maybe I'll run up a quick slideshow for you. And then I'll come back and wrap it up with you. All right, there you go, I am back. I thought that uh, would be a nice way to give you a, just a final look at everything. Let me get this out of the way. So what is your favorite? Do you have a favorite in this little set here? Have you ever done these before? If not, uh, you know, maybe you'll get a chance one day. I'm not sure, remember you got extra tools. I got three of those, three more of those. And you've seen everything now. And thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. I will put links to all my Dig it products, especially these original Treasure X's, which I have done videos from since when they first came out. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.